Hello. I've been having a great time flying this ZMR frame around the last couple of weeks. Let me show you this cool footage that I got last week. Oh yeah, that was the day that I lost the Mobius camera when it slipped off and fell into some very long grass and it was I looked for about two, two and a half hours, but it basically was a lost cause. So I um, wanted to make a few little modifications to see if I could fix that problem once and for all and also try an idea that I had for powering the Mobius from the main battery of the flight controller. Uh, so I just want to have a quick look at this frame or the build rather because somebody asked me if I was going to do a video on this and I said no or I said maybe I think because it's not really that much of a DIY build and therefore not really that interesting. Um, it's a ZMR fiberglass frame uh, with the DYS BE1806 motors and some no-name ESCs from Banggood that seem to be working out quite well. Um, probably the only thing that's a bit different about it is that I've used 20mm standoffs instead of 37 which is a normal length because there's a Flip32 and an NRF24 L01 module in there uh, and I had this I had all the pins removed from this so that's why I could get everything squashed in there so tight. Uh, that's my homemade video transmitter and I've gone back to using this crappy little CMOS camera for video again uh, because I found that once I took it off the woody frame uh, I noticed that the plastic part of the, the lens and the PCB part of the board were actually sort of slightly ajar and somebody had glued them there like that. Goodness. Um, so at the back I drilled a couple of holes extra for the video transmitter and the uh, this is the um, NRF antenna there, it's just sort of stuck in with a bit of rubbery stuff. Um, but anyway, that's not what we uh, came to talk about, was it? Uh, the reason the Mobius fell off was, if we just have a look at some pictures that I had, no, not that one, this one. Uh, this is how I had things arranged. Of course, the balls, the damping balls are not poked into the holes there, but they, sh they should be. Um, and I think this is probably how most people use it. And I'd put a little bit of this neoprene sort of material to angle the camera upwards a little bit. And the trouble with that is that when, the, when there's an angle between the damping plate and the Mobius, the... Um, I'm going to demonstrate this. So I had this Velcro like that, and there'd be the flat damping plate here. But you can't really get a good grip on them because what happens is when there's some movement, the because there's a shallower angle at this end, the Velcro just sort of tends to slip off like that. And I think I'd just been lucky in the past that every time uh, the Mobius came off by itself, I wasn't in a long grass area. More commonly what happened would be that the damping plate and the Mobius would come off together and I'd have this red strap attached to both of them and I'd see that you know over in the distance in the long grass it's easy, easy to find this red strap anyway so um, that didn't happen on this day and the Mobius slipped off by itself so I um, wanted to have it so that the Mobius was more permanently mounted and because that was obviously necessary to if you're going to be powering it from the main battery so as we can see the Mobius inside is pretty simple it's just that board really that's that's it and the camera piece uh, and I this is the top of the case and I just made a couple of little cuts into the case like that this is all very very simple by the way I mean you could probably tell this from the video thumbnail already maybe not even worth making a video about I suppose but here we are uh, so the cut had to be done a little bit carefully you don't really want to break through that piece there if you can help it and you don't want to cut into this little um, transparent piece of plastic here for the LEDs to shine through so you've got to sort of get it as close to that as you can without actually breaking into it I guess uh, and then I just sort of put that onto something roughly round and pushed down on it while I heated it up with a fairly hot heat gun and that's um, why that central section only has been bent up. Uh, as it got a little bit higher, or needed to be a little bit higher, I just used some other pieces of wood, but I think this is where I went wrong and I wouldn't have done this next time. Uh, I ended up with the camera being mounted a little bit crooked both in roll and also in uh, yaw, I guess. 
uh, as you'll see a bit later on and I also made the angle a little bit too extreme it's probably a little bit more than 30 degrees is it yeah I don't know but the angle is a little bit too much and it's tricky to change this now without sort of pulling everything apart so um, I would have been a, a, quite a bit more careful at this stage if I was doing it again so to power it um, I'm using one of those little voltage step down regulators and I set that to 4 volts which is you know that's what a uh, fairly well charged single cell LiPo would be which is what the Mobius uses and that's just going directly um, oh, it's just sort of foam taped onto the inside and comes straight out the back like that uh, so that's what it looks like uh, I stuck the case on with sellotape like this because when I cut into the side one of the um, the screws there was no longer usable because I cut right through with the screw mounts so that's why I've closed it off with sellotape but I had a little problem which I think was due to the tape holding this button down or something so every now and then I'd try and turn it on and I'd get a, the blue light would just show up and, and stay stay on so I think that could be because this mode button here was being pressed or something to do with that tape on there perhaps not not entirely sure um, yeah and because I wanted this to be a bit more permanent I tried using these plastic um, reinforcing things so this is like a, a, a little screw and there's like a washer and it goes through the middle of the damping ball and there's another plate on the other side so the idea was that even in a really bad crash it would have to rip all four balls and break all four of these plastic reinforcing things and break through the wire or pull the wire of the Mobius out uh, in order to lose the Mobius again it would have to be super super bad crash um, and so I just uh, mounted the Mobius a little bit higher than that on some foam tape again and stuck it on very securely to the plate with zip ties um, and then at the other end those two wires just go directly into the uh, the main battery connection on the on the PCB PDB rather uh, so that's what it looks like and like I say the the angle on the Mobius is too extreme um, maybe I'll maybe I'll grow into it I don't know but for now it's a little bit too high right um, so how did it work well unfortunately the first thing I found was that those um, the reinforcing thingies little plastic reinforcing thingies that go in there uh, they're not as strong as I first thought because when I had a pretty big crash the first day out not only did it rip all four balls it uh, broke all four of those plastic spacing things uh, and the Mobius came off of course like that as you can see in this photo so um, because they were also giving me a bit of jello uh, if I can find a little bit of video from that day when I was still using those plastic reinforcing things I'll put that in here and there's probably not too much jello there you can maybe see a little bit of it but definitely there was more jello than I had been getting before I started using those so I decided for my next iteration not to use those at all and instead of those I would use a little bit of this um, elastic um, band here from my underpants <laughs> no it's from from one of these things just a little bit of um, elastic there it's quite soft and because it's so so soft what I thought I'd do the first time is just tie it round just on one corner so I had it around this post around to that corner of the plate and that worked quite well in that it prevented the Mobius from you know flying away uh, but even though this elastic is fairly soft it still pulled the um, it was not soft enough that it wouldn't pull the camera to one side like that so as you can see in this clip here the central point of the camera as we go through these trees is on the bottom left um, which is not not a very pleasant viewing experience uh, so 
that's what led me to my final configuration that I have now. I've added a little L plate made from aluminium which connects using the same screws as the standoffs and the reason for that is to um, mainly to stop the battery from flying forward because it seems to me that now that there's not much weight in here because there's no no battery inside the Mobius um, the main problem is coming from when the battery hits forward into it uh, and if we go back to that photo that we looked at just before you can see here that the the battery is actually a full inch or so forward from where it should be so that was a that was a pretty big crash that one um, so I'm also using that plate to hold one of these elastic bands in the middle uh, so that shouldn't make the camera go crooked anymore and I've also got some like I showed you just a second ago uh, on the side so that's sort of holding everything down um, and I haven't actually haven't actually flown like this yet been getting a lot of overcast days and this little CMOS camera doesn't do very well unless it's bright and sunny um, but I'm really hoping that that will really knock this problem on the head once and for all uh, another thing I should mention though before I finish up is that um, even though it's nice not to have to charge up Mobius and everything because you've got this running from your main battery it does give you a few issues when you crash and I made a video a while ago where I showed how you can recover files from your Mobius, the SD card that was in your Mobius if you happen to crash and the Mobius uh, gets water in it or something like that and the file doesn't get uh, doesn't get closed properly when it's writing to disk and I found myself having to do that quite a few times in the last week or so because I'm not exactly sure why actually but it seems like when it crashes or when it gets a hit uh, the Mobius can quite easily just turn off so those files don't get written completely correctly um, and another problem that I discovered when I crashed one time and my the quad landed up upright but the Mobius had fallen off and over onto the prop and I I wasn't aware of that so I started to try and take off again and the prop was bashing the Mobius to bits well not to bits obviously because it's still there but it was it didn't cut the wire but it must have been banging and bashing on something um, and I did manage to recover that video okay with sound as well interestingly uh, so that's what we're looking at here but um, yeah I just thought I'd show you that just in case anybody tries this and thinks that the having the power from the main battery is a silver bullet for all your battery charging forgetting to charge the battery problems um, you may just want to I don't know keep the battery in there perhaps wouldn't be a bad idea um, in fact another thing I should mention is that I got this Mobius given to me uh, by my friend just before I left Japan he was having a lot of problems with it so he gave it to me to see if I could figure out what was wrong with it um, and we sort of figured it may have been the battery so I didn't have a battery for this Mobius anyway that's another reason I wanted to do this seems to be r running all right though um, now that we've you know not threw that battery in the rubbish anyway um, that's all I have to say about this thanks for watching